to talk to the, me to the viewers? Give me a countdown. Three, two, go. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on, guys? Today we are back with another video. It is a beautiful day out. We are now like a day or two right before Wisconsin Walleye Opener, right? Yeah, yep. Which is very exciting. And uh, we're out here today. We're going to film some super cool stuff today, which we'll get into it in a second. But Mitchell, we just uploaded some unbelievable content to the wallet now app. absolutely how useful yeah. is this stuff it's it, like you actually have to check this out because this is going to be your best friend for the next you couple know, weeks couple sure. weeks yeah for sure yeah. yeah so with wisconsin wallet opener coming up we wanted to do something cool for everybody who's on the walleye now app and what we really did was we took you know you everybody's coming up to go fishing this weekend in a natural lake or some flow system across northern wisconsin or a week from now in northern minnesota and a lot of your maybe you're lying off fishing reports where it's like oh the bite's good you know there should be fish here there should be fish here yeah. well we took it a hundred steps farther than that we uploaded some premium content to the walleye now app and all you have to do to find it is hit let's go fishing at the bottom of the page get over and hit early spring or spring and then you can click on either natural lake or flowage system and that's going to spit you out a video on location each one will look just like this right here these videos go into incredible detail on my three best spots which i look for walleyes and exact spots that i'm going to be fishing this weekend here or actually day after tomorrow for walleyes and it's not just like oh rock points are good oh weed edges are good we break these spots down in high detail on the hummingbird on side imaging showing you not just what those fish look like what the spot looks like and those little micro structures that hold fish and so we kind of go into you know our three best spots on flowage systems and natural lakes show people exactly where i'm looking for walleyes and exactly what those fish look like and if you want to get set up to catch a bunch of walleyes opening weekend, it's literally right there. We've been driving around. We can't target these fish yet, but we've been driving around the last couple of days filming these videos, kind of doing a lot of scouting, breaking down big spots, showing you guys the fish, and uploading that content in these opening week natural lake and flow system breakdowns. So there's a huge amount of valuable, valuable um, okay. intel right there. So if you're fishing either of those systems in the next couple of weeks, whether that's a natural lake, or a flow system, absolutely get on there and check those breakdowns out. We also uploaded one of the presentation side for early spring and spring on natural lakes and flowages. That kind of goes into the four or five baits that I rely on super heavy and specifically how I use them um, this weekend. So it's, it goes into exactly what I'm gonna be doing, exactly what I'm looking at on the graph. And uh, it's not a lame fishing report where it's like, oh, walleyes are shallow. Well, what in the world does that even mean? We show you the depths, we show you the spots, we show you the fish, and we show you the structure relating to. Yeah, for sure. After seeing this kind of stuff, you're gonna realize that you do not need a fishing report anymore yeah and this is over it's like fishing report on steroids happening yeah. in live time so if you guys want absolutely get on the walleye now app um you know it's available on google play and the app store check it out hey let's go fishing get to that uh um the, the season selector early spring or spring and that content's uploaded under natural lake or flowage reservoir system so without further ado we're filming a really cool video today yeah. mitchell I, I just want to add to that when you do click early spring or spring and you go to those locations or presentation, you want to scroll all the way to the end of that. So it's not going to be yep. the first video, it's, it's the very last video. So yeah, the videos just, uh, will be titled Opening Week Breakdown. Yep. Something like that right there. So um, without further ado, we're going to do a video today, which people have been asking for. is always a super popular video. Oh, yeah. We got all these things going on back here. We have three <laughs> graphs. We got like six transducers on this boat. And we're going to go into when do you use each one. Spring is all about generally side imaging. Yep. So we're going to show you when do we use side imaging, what do we use it for, what those fish look like. We're going to go into the 360. When is that valuable? How do you use that? When do you use one versus the other? And then the coveted Hummingbird Mega Live. We're going to go into that and show you guys how we use it. And there's so many uses for this. We're, it, fish aren't really set up in a way to show you guys all the uses for Mega Live yet. We're going to show you how you can use it in the spring, where it's valuable, and uh, kind of break down each one like that. So stay tuned, should be an exciting video. We're gonna go out, catch a few smallmouth because that's the only thing we can really fish for right now and uh, show you guys how valuable these tools are in the back of the boat. So stay tuned, let's get it going on. It's gonna be a highly informational video. We'll see you on the first spot. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are pulling into spot number one. Now, what we're going to be fishing here, this spot, caught a lot of smallmouth here over the years. And it's basically what we have is a big sand flat that comes out the shoreline. And it actually turns into kind of a, a lot of times what you'll see is you'll have a big sand flat and there might be once like little seams of rock down it. 
And a lot of times those are just magnetizing for these early season smallies that they start coming up out of some of the deeper water and they pull up on some of these flats and they love sitting on that, those little strips of rock in a bigger sand flat. So that's exactly what we're gonna go in here to find these smallmouth right now. And right now we're just looking for fish. We're kind of scouting the spot. We wanna make sure we pull up on it correctly. Maybe we'll see some fish, maybe we won't. But we really wanna make sure that we're positioned correctly to fish this this uh this little piece of rock so i'm using my side imaging this is really where the hummingbird side imaging comes in handy and we're gonna set it up so we got a range of about 80 here and what i really want to see like i said is just that thin band of rock or kind of the the most character in the rock spot is what we're looking for and side imaging is one of the best tools to kind of give you an over overview of what you're looking at yeah by far you pull into a spot you're on inside imaging immediately you go okay it's all sand okay there's some rock here you know whatever it might be so we'll kind of cruise into it here <laughs> all right guys so as i move into this spot here mitchell has zero patience whatsoever but <laughs> um what we're seeing here is a, some weeds off the left and we're just coming into a little bit of this rock now and there's actually some fish here you can already see a little bit here we'll kind of highlight a few of them like this but we're just starting to get into the rock. So here's here's kind of exactly what we're looking for, Mitchell. The boat's in seven. And I'll take a screenshot for you guys. You can see it goes sand to rock. And the rock's, you know, off my off the shoreline side of me, obviously. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to just follow this out. And right now I don't have much of a need for, like, uh, the 360 or the live yet. Right now we're trying to position ourselves on the spot kind of like like how we how we kind of want to fish it so what i'm doing right now is i'm driving straight away from the shoreline so i'm kind of going perpendicular down this spot like this right now most of the rock is off our right side still so this this major rock seam is still kind of off the right side of us Oh, Mitchell, look at those fish off the left side of it right there. Ooh. You see that? Oh, man. So I'll take, oh, another, man. I'll take another screenshot for you guys here. Now, what we're looking at right here, big rock off the right, sand, bare sand area off the left here, and a bunch of, you know, kind of a nice pocket of fish. You know, in these, most of these lakes that we're going to be fishing in northern Wisconsin, northern Minnesota, we're looking at a lot of lakes that are like 3,000 acres, you know, 1,000 acres. We're not looking for 100 fish on a side imaging shot. We're looking at schools a lot of time, five, 10 fish at a time. And, you know, when you're seeing stuff like this on rock, you know, you could be assured that there's probably more fish in the rock that we can't see. So side imaging is the absolute best tool when you pull into an area to get that best overview, get the lay of the land as you're kind of scouting, and then we start fishing and start implementing some of these other tools. So now that we're fishing, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna drop the 360. Now we're fishing a, a shallow water situation right now. Now I don't use the 360 very much in depths deeper than 20. And every we always get comments like in the middle of summer, oh, is 360 useless or why aren't you using it right now? Well, the, the rule is each piece of electronics is a tool meant to do a job. And its, it's job is shallow water um, fishing where you're tar casting at targets either a rock, a crib, a school of crappies on a weed edge, a, you know, individual fish maybe like this, or just so we have a great bearing while we're sitting here fishing of kind of where this rock edge is. There you go. Right there. Down Already, the huh? Right there. Wow, look at that. Already. <laughs> First cast? Yeah. Oh, well, second cast, technically. Mitch's yeah. second cast up in there. So I literally just got the 360 out. Nice small I'll bet, huh? Yeah, feels like a pretty good one, actually. Just popped her, huh? No, nope, no, nope, didn't pop it because I'm just oh, right dragging up. this hair jig slowly across the oh, bottom. Oh man, I like it. Give it a little pop and then. And here's kind of the power the of, of yep. all the. It feels like a good fish. Oh. Yeah, it is a good fish. Do we film this or no? Sure. Yeah. Well, I mean, well, this is by complete accident, obviously, but. Uh, yeah. When you're fishing these shallow water flats or these points and you have sand and rock, you're going to have a couple of species here. And we're essentially... And I don't even want to bring this thing out of the water. No, I'm not. Just go ahead and have Tom unhook it quick. And I mean, then, let uh, me just get a little shot here. Yep. I mean, basically, what Mitch is saying here is that... Uh, oh, man, just got all sorts of GoPro problems. Is that this is not the target species, and we're fishing baits that are not... You know, when we're fishing baits in a way where we don't normally catch this species of fish doing this. 
and that's small hair jigs just reeling them. Obviously the season for those is not open yet. So we just want to get them back in the water absolutely as quickly as possible. But you can see just by you know using your tools right, how quickly you could put your bait in front of fish. Now, the, now with the 360's down, we'll kind of throw up some screenshots here where we're looking at, where we know exactly what angle to cast to hit this rock. And uh, we'll show you some pictures of some fish here in a little bit on the 360. But where the 360 really shines is when you get on you know these spots in shallow water and it helps you just absolutely pinpoint your cast. So we can say like, okay, we need to be casting right there or right here to hit that pot of fish or the specific sweet spot in the piece of structure. All right, guys, well, Mitch just caught um, the wrong species and we're just not even gonna take another cast here, I don't think. I think we're just gonna go right yeah. in, do some deeper stuff. We haven't been on this lake yet this year. We got cold water temps. Other lake, we just filmed a smallest video on all the fish were up shallow. Um, the smallies were up shallow, but if it's just all walleyes up shallow, we don't even want to mess around with that until season's open, obviously. So we're going to move spots and uh, show you guys some live stuff. But the 360, obviously, like you guys can see where it really shines, is once we set up on a spot to really get our bearing. So we're going to get out to a little bit deeper spot now, um, use the side imaging to kind of see what we want, and then use the 360 to get kind of our bearing once we're in the area. And then we're going to use the live to point that thing directly at fish and show them to you. At least that's the plan. None of this is scripted, obviously. We're just going out and filming it right now. So stay tuned. We're gonna make a little move and uh, we'll show you guys mega live. All right, guys, so we just made a move out to some deeper water now where a lot of these spawn both winter and have not pulled up yet. Um, so this spot, 100%, oh, uh, there'd probably be smallmouth here, I'm assuming. Hopefully, either way, it's gonna be a really cool shot for you on, on yeah. the live imaging. You're gonna kind of get a really good idea of what we're looking at here. Yeah, and we'll kind of show you how all these tools kind of work together. So right now I'm coming into the spot. This is actually a deep crib wintering area. A lot of these smallies sit out and saw a lot of these deeper cribs in the winter time. We're already actually seeing a couple off seeing the Seeing them right. on 360, which is really cool. Right yeah, we'll kind of we'll kind of show you. Oh man, they're all over right there, aren't they, Mitchell? Yep. So we'll kind of grab you a screen grab here once we kind of come into them oh, a little bit more. Look at the fish on 360. It's such a cool thing. Yeah. To so I'm gonna screenshot the side imaging right now to kind of show you guys these fish. Now you could just start to see a few of the cribs screenshot we just went over. This. And Mitch is gonna screenshot the 360, just hold it. There we go. So I'm gonna hit spot lock right now. So now what we have is obviously we went by some fish, you know, because whenever I'm seeing them in side imaging, I'm looking at a perpendicular view to the back of the boat. Yep. So there were some over there and there were some over here. And Mitch took that one on 360 so we could still kind of see those fish a little bit. Now what we're going to do is drop the live down and I'm going to point it in the direction of those fish. So I can watch my 360 right now and say, okay, there's fish right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop that 360. We're going to point it back at those fish and we'll hopefully be able to show you guys the fish and our baits going down into them where we can really, you know, as precise yeah. as you can be putting a bait in front of a fish right here. That's fish right there. Just let me play. You see that? Actually, yeah, ate yeah. it on the way down, yep. and you could literally tell he ate it on the way down because yep. so, the blade so bait just cool. stopped moving. And that was literally my first drop. Yep. <laughs> so I mean, there it is. I literally you know. didn't even hit spot lock yet. I was just kind of. Sometimes they the sometimes they it. play nice for the camera, don't they? They do. Look at that. And you can see right there. I mean, you guys watch the bait go down. Yep. There's actually a little pot of three fish, and that is how you dissect these schools of fish with the three or the mega live right there. Mm -hmm. And it's such an unbelievably cool tool that you guys are going to see a lot more of. And uh, we kind of figured there was a few of these fish now out here on this kind of wintering spot. But, you know, using all these things in conjunction is ultimately what's gonna catch you a lot more fish. There's no one tool, there's no one tool that does every single job. There's tools to do a bunch of different jobs and knowing when to use each one, how to use it effectively, and you know, really where to use it and dialing that in is uh, ultimately, you know, what catches you more fish. We get comments all the time where it's like, oh, how good is 360, is it worth the money? Well, it's worth its weight in gold for certain situations. How good is Mega Live? Is it worth it? Well, obviously, as you could see like that, it's worth its weight in gold for certain things. And all of these little things, when you figure out how to use them right in conjunction with one another, is really what puts you on and puts a lot more fish in your boat day in, day out. All right, guys, well, in a very short two minutes of fishing here, of coming into the spot, breaking it down with side imaging, 
looking at where those fish are in 360, using the 360 to dictate where we turn the site or the, the mega live into. You guys can see how quick that is. We just you know came out here for an hour this morning and wanted to shoot a little quick little clip like this. And you can see, you know, right away with the live, I caught that one on the first drop. Mitch about a minute later had that one come up, eat off the bottom. And we don't need to sit here and beat a bunch of smallmouth up because you know we just do kind of like we don't really care anymore. But <laughs> I mean we're kind of just ready for walleye season to open. But really wanted to put this video out there showing you guys how all of these things work together and you guys will see a ton i know you guys are begging for more live content probably but yeah, we'll show you a ton more content with that how we rig it we don't really have all that stuff quite dialed yet uh, but how we rig it how we use it and all that kind of stuff for dis different situations and the, all the different options that come with mega live but obviously kind of a cool video for a lot of people asking that question mitchell do you have any thoughts yeah definitely um super cool video and just like to add to what you said we're, we have so much more i mean season's not even here yet so we're gonna have so much of this to come and we can't wait to keep using it and uh like he mentioned as, as far as rigging this setup that we're running right here i know we're gonna get a million questions on this i already do this is not the actual setup we're gonna be running so we got a temporary all this yeah. stuff seems like it's hard to get right now it is so, so we kinda... had to kind of build our own thing and kind of improvise but once we get that all rigged up and set up how we're gonna run it all season long we'll, show you know, you we'll definitely shoot a cool video on that too so and we'll have a ton of exclusive setting stuff like that on the yeah, app definitely. you know we want definitely want to feed everybody that's on the walleye now app um, a lot of our settings, how we're using that stuff um, to kind of give all you guys that are on the wall and now Apple leg up on the competition. So that's kind of that video. I don't even think there's really much else to say, Mitchell. I don't it's think a so. beautiful day. I'm going to take my girlfriend out to do some brook trout fishing for brook trout that are about that long. Yep. I'm going to take think... my girlfriend back out on the boat here and enjoy the day. And, and that's yeah, going to be that. I'll do it. a little editing tonight and get this video up. But I appreciate you guys watching this video. Like I said in the intro, um, we released some unbelievable content to the Walleye Now app, setting a lot of you guys up for early season success for a Wisconsin opener here. And that same stuff really applies to the Minnesota opener, except we're going to get over to some popular Minnesota destinations yes, we are. a few days before the opener over there and do the same kind of scouting videos to hype a lot of you guys up, maybe on a Mille Lacs, maybe on a Leech Lake, maybe on a Winnemagash. We're not really sure yet. But stay tuned for the Walleye, on the Walleye Now app for a lot of that content coming out. And I appreciate you guys watching this. Hopefully you guys like this little breakdown stay tuned for a lot more of that breakdown stuff we'll see you guys in the next one